Welcome, Welcome to Salute! Salute. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not going to say anything about what we were laughing right. about. <laughs> <laughs> because we want, we, 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 uh, we want to stay alive. <laughs> um, for now. Um, but one of the things we were talking about before... Although what we many of you might have think that for years we've been trying to kill ourselves. Yeah, I know, we haven't. <laughs> we have. um, that's a myth. Um, not a myth, a myth. <laughs> well, well, that we were, was one of the things we tried to kill ourselves with. <laughs> well, one of the things that we were talking about before we were talking about the thing that we don't want you to know about is my new apartment. Yes. And happy um, housewarming. Well, thank you. Well, we haven't had it yet. We're gonna I love what you've done with the place. Housewarming party. Um, so Which is nothing. That's not true. <laughs> no. The painting, the and then the man yeah. painting. Oh, that's the true. Hallway, oh, I and see. And the dead Kennedys. Okay. In the hallway, and the the. The dresser. The bureau. <laughs> and we we're having a hot debate about whether uh, Michael's new furniture is actually a dresser or, or a bureau. bureau. I think it's a dresser because it's about five and a half feet tall, and to me, a bureau is something lower. But um, I can credence up. We haven't done our uh, interior design research, so we can't properly name it. Um, but um, I filmed some episode, uh, footage the other day of me moving in, um, carrying boxes, and I look, I look. All Sunday, day. all sweaty and like you know, it was, it was like a hundred degrees and the humidity was ninety five percent and just and awful. Um, but um, I mean now and um, so I guess you could see some clips now. Yeah, we're gonna show it now. Um, address to the, um, all of the fans. Oh, actually, I want all the fans to come. It's twenty one sixteen Linden Street. So, so okay. the second floor. And we've been moving in all day. Up, oh. <laughs> up, oh, and this is Jolan. Now, oh. this is the living room. It's still in a, a state of disarray, obviously, because we've been moving in. And down here, this is my boudoir. My boudoir and slash painting studio. And there's cat pee right there. <laughs> or dog, dog pee. Cat pee was the old place. And there's my clothes. We were very lucky to get the apartment. There's more clothes. Oh! It was the only two bedroom apartment that we could afford. And well, let's show this. Let's show everybody the kitchen. This is whoop, whoop. <laughs> This is the kitchen. And where we've set up here, a little, this is a, a little nook where we're gonna be filming the pew. Uh -huh. And um, this is, uh, this is, here's where the dirty sink is. <laughs> That'll be clean pretty soon. And, oh, bring the dogs in. Oh, cool. <whistles> Who are the, where are the dogs? Darby Crash, Marco. Darby Crash. Peroni. Whoop. Peroni, Peroni, Darby Crash, Darby Crash, and Susie Sue, and Susie Sue. And the thing about the the thing about this these dogs is that they are it's a mother and a father and a, what's the other for there? And it's, so that's what I'm trying to do. A mother, father, and a baby. And um, when I moved in, this is Jalan, um, my roommate. Mm -hmm. He explained to me that it would be very comforting to see the mother put the son and the father to bed. She looks at their faces and mm -hmm. gets them all ready to bed. It's the cutest thing in the whole world. It's like, <laughs> it makes the whole world disappear. <laughs> and it's only about these three dogs. They're so scared. Can you get a close-up of their dog? She is so sweet. How could you, how could you think of anything else when this dog is around? Except for the other dogs, maybe. <laughs> you are the sweetest dog. <laughs> Except that doesn't mean I don't love my Dolce. I still love Dolce. <laughs> and one of these days, Dolce is going to come over for a play date, and you're going to see that. <laughs> and she's going to bring Ezra. She has one as well. I oh, do. A little pony. Yeah. That's the cam the camera woman. Her name is Sarah. 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 <laughs> okay, Sarah. Okay, so let's show the rest of the apartment. Yeah, sure. This is the closet, the kitchen closet. Kitchen closet, very empty, very empty. Empty, devoid of kitchen -y things. Here's another closet, also empty. This is the living room where we decided to pass over my clothes and a blanket where I'm sleeping for now. Yep. And some of my pants that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. And 
the boss. The boss, as Barbara Walters would say. Very real, love it. Oh, my room and my kitchen littles. My beloved kitchen littles. Ooh, kitchen littles. Look at my kitchen littles. I was admiring them. They're very nice. They are amazing. You did you make the ice thing work? I did not. You put a cup here and Oh yeah, popcorn. Mm -hmm. And popcorn as well. And oh, oh, there's that. See, an ice comes out. That's oh, amazing. Ice oh. <laughs> you have to put ice in there. So, oh, oh, look at all the groceries. Oh my God, there's like. I wish our refrigerator looked like that. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> And look at this, it's so heavy, like. I was admire like the pancake and the pan. Oh, it flips. It, it flips, yeah. I'm gonna flip it. I no, no, it flips, it's a magnet. Oh, it's a magnet, but yeah. I flipped it. <laughs> and look how heavy these are, the, um, the bread. Look, so, That's amazing. So amazing, Actually, I love them. I kind of, the munchies out for to see the pizza. Oh. <laughs> now, so now that the ice is in there, mm -hmm. now we can get the ice, cup of ice. There. there you go, that's it. <laughs> oh, I, the, the, the blender. Very nice. <laughs> and Love it's it. all like heavy, like really like. Yeah, yeah, it's like very like solid. Yeah, shit. and look at the the, the dinner. Wait, a fifties toaster. Yeah, yeah. So here, oh, all my bow ties and um, art paintings and mm -hmm. canvases and blah 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 and my Angerberg lunchbox <laughs> and, my, and my pink Cadillac. I and, love your pink Cadillac. Yeah, so amazing. And my it's my SUV. Mm-hmm. I use bow tie collection and, and collection of sour can candy. Oh, sour candy? Yes. Oh, I love my sour candy. Do they like warheads? I, I don't like warheads. Really? It's, you don't like warheads? Because warheads are too much. They're not sour. They're like, they are almost bitter. You know where sour mm. turns into bitter? Gotcha. That's, that's I can feel like bitter. I don't and, know. Um, here, taste this. This is a, um, this is a baby bottle pop. Oh. It's like a fun dip. Mm. I like that. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's very, yeah, okay. Mm, mm. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Check out the floors. These really beautiful deep cherry wooden floors. True. And um, the moldings. Can you get up? Yeah, yeah. Close up. <coughs> of the moldings. Mm -hmm. I, do you think they're original moldings? And the walls are really nicely done. Yeah. It was all done before we moved in. I like the color, definitely. And we are very lucky to get this apartment. And I am I feel extremely fortunate to have it. Sweet. And um, so now we have a place to film the pew. And um, we will be filming more episodes. Awesome. For you, the pewer. Yay! So you see how awful and sweaty I look. And, um, <laughs> and I guess you can just get a kind of an idea, a feel for the place. It's, it's actually pretty big for... Um, for New York City standards, we, we have an eat-in kitchen, which is something that um, I think I, don't, I think you have to be really rich to have an eat-in kitchen now, right? Uh, well, I mean, I think the old traditional apartments, I mean, we're in Ridgewood, Queens, and there's a lot of, uh, I guess, mid-century, mid-20th century apartment buildings mm -hmm. around here, and they had eat-in kitchens. That was the style back then, so... Oh. Um, no, you don't. Like, the people who well, lived here lot, when these a lot buildings of them, were built were not rich. Right, no, not then. But a lot of them have been cut up into um, other, you know, more apartments, and so they make, um, they add a, they can add a studio or something that they just like put a wall up in. Mm -hmm. That's you know, true. I mean, has this one been cut up? No. I don't, I don't know how original this, I guess it was originally like a, a, the shop owner downstairs would have, you know, the, an apartment upstairs. Um, there's, there's only two apartments here. There's one here and across the hall. Right, well, it's a two-story building. Uh, there's only two apartments though. That's actually nice living in a building where there's only two apartments because mm -hmm. then there's only so many people you can annoy well, or so many people who can annoy you. The downside of that <laughs> is that when I moved in, there were there was a, a there, were, there was a crate downstairs like, like this big of um of bottled water, and um as I moved in, Kiki and um, some of the people who were helping me move, um they each helped themselves to the water. And it was it belongs to the neighbor. So now there's only one person that could have taken this water, and, it, and it's me. But and why would they do that? Okay. <laughs> you move into somebody's. You're to, moving into okay. a building. I'm going to repeat what I just said. Kaoki was helping me move. Okay. And yeah, helped himself with some water downstairs. And you say, why would Kaoki just take something that doesn't that belong to him? <laughs> 
I have not He's done it so many times in the past. Okay. Yeah, don't ever invite him to your house. He'll, he'll take whatever no, he likes. Don't go that far. You can, um, you can invite Kippy to your house. No, you should. He's, you banned, should invite, you he's should banned, banned from my house. You should invite him to your house. You should, <laughs> if you want your things taken. What did he take from you? He took uh, an expensive set, uh, expensive sunglasses, and then he took a designer wallet that was still in the I box. I remember that. And we were looking through, remember we were looking through the closet or something for it? Yes, he took it. And you no, he admit, he admit, he, he never returned, it. he never returned any of it. Oh, well, I'll, you want me to write it? No, I mean, at this I point, that was like two years ago. I don't yeah, even... I remember that. I remember that now. Um, that's why he's not welcome at my oh place my gosh. anymore. Oh, I, I, never, I, never, I, didn't, I guess we haven't talked about it. But anyway, back to my apartment. <laughs> so your neighbor next door, you're lucky that he only <laughs> took a bottle of water. <laughs> um, so yeah, but the rooms are big and the floors and walls have been redone. They're not because they're really nice. And there's some original moldings. And, um, no, so, it's nice. I like the, the paint color on the wall. It's yeah, kind I'm of sure. like... A, like gray mixed with a little bit of lavender. Yeah, I like you too. It's very pleasant and pretty. And uh, you can the neighbor, tell that the, the landlord really cares about the apartment. So what's this neighborhood like? Because I haven't really had a chance to walk around it's, it. It looks like there's a lot of Polish people around oh here. Oh God, a lot of Polish people and Russians too. Is but, that a good? You're saying oh God, like it's a bad thing? No, no, it's, it's actually a good thing. They're they're very meticulous about you know keeping things clean and um and um. The, the girls are actually, I, I, usually, I usually think that, that the whole Polish, uh, Eastern European thing was not very kind to females and was more kind to males as far as looks and things go. But the, but the women around here are all very beautiful. Um, actually, the Russian women are known for being really tall and, and modelly and whatever. But, um, but Polish, you never really think of. You don't think of a lot of female Polish models. You think of male models, really, for Poland. I don't know about that. You don't, well, I mean, you, don't, you don't know about it? Well, I Who's mean, there's, there's be, there are beautiful people in every country. I well, mean, but some, some, some countries favor either a male or a female. And, um, and it's, just, it's a cultural thing. Um, that, um, How many countries have you visited? Five. Okay, were any of them Poland or Russia? Well, one Poland, yeah. Oh, you went to Poland? Yeah. Okay. But not Russia. Well, then you're an expert. But, uh, <laughs> um, actually, no. um, yeah, I'm not even an expert. I, ha I have a, I have a TV. <laughs> oh, anyway, and we know it's all everything on TV is true and factual. No, but but <laughs> even even in Germany, Germany, Germany and Poland are very are very similar. And um, and I think in Germany that it favors the male instead of the female. Uh, it's just it's a cultural thing. It's just uh, the way that they're portrayed in. Um, in magazines and TV and in, in, the, in the media. I, it, will, and it I will disagree, but um, if that's your view, you're welcome to it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what were we were talking about? We were talking about my apartment. We were talking about this neighborhood. You said right. that, and I said that it looked like there were a lot of Polish people that live around here because I saw Polish delis. Yeah, the Polish delis are great. But I, I get this really great um, Liebkuchen, it's called in Germany. I don't know what it's called in Poland. But it's, a, it's a, one of those things where it's like 20 different layers of like chocolate and then gooey graham cracker and then cream and then another graham cracker and then nuts and then, you know, and then you cut it and it, it shows like all these slices, like mm -hmm. stripes. It's really, really good. Um, and How about the borscht? Have you had any borscht? I do have not. I don't like borscht. You don't like it? I don't like it. I don't like anything with beets. Not even white borscht? Mm -hmm. No. It doesn't have beets. White beets. White no. borscht. White borscht doesn't have beets. What's it got? <laughs> I don't know. Like whatever makes it white. I mean, it's. I think it's cabbage and potatoes and. Is it a liquid? possibly? It's a soup. It's a soup. So it's yeah. like a potato soup, probably. It's like soup. a. It's like a potato and cabbage soup, and I believe there's either chicken or. Oh, well, pork that might in be it. good. It's delicious. Well, chicken would be good. My favorite Polish soup is pickle soup. Have you ever had that? No, but everything is pickled. They've got pickled everything in this in these Polish stores, um, and they're and they're good. And I like their pickles too. They've got lots of really good pickles, mm -hmm. gherkin pickles. Um, I recently went to a Polish deli to have a Polish lunch because you could buy one for seven dollars in Yonkers. Yes, and, they've got um, the lunches were are, there are so delicious and with all, really great side salads like a right. cabbage salad. And, That's my favorite thing and, about the yeah, lunch is like this, shredded up. Like right, they'll make all these fancy cucumber, shredded cucumber salads. Cucumber salad, yeah. Right, like they've got like a, the fancy cucumber salad, and then they've got the fancy carrot salad, and then they've got the fancy pickle salad. It's all so good. And their mashed potatoes are to die for. And when they're t when they're together or talking like on the phone or whatever, they sound like they're like 
you know, some espionage film, like trying to like, you know, like trying to like blow something up, or something, you know, like talk, like talking about like, you know, just yeah, first yeah, talk. It's not a very romantic language. Meanwhile, they're probably just talking about borscht, borscht yeah. or sausage. I don't know. We'll be right back. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back. We're in, well, while you are watching this that lovely commercial, I was going to my refrigerator to get this jar of lovely Krakowia vegetable soup that I got from the Polish store down the street. And um, and it's not because you were in the mood for soup. No, it's because I want. It comes in a glass jar, which I think is really great um, because it, the soup won't taste like a can. It'll taste like nothing. It'll taste like soup. And then I can have this can, this uh, jar later for my paint. And then all of my paints will be in a uniform. It's a nice shape. Lined up like soldiers. So, Ernie has it, which is one and all. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Jamie Howard asked, what's with all the slang? <laughs> and we're not sure what he means we're by swing. the slang. Uh, he could mean a Slow couple of things. Dancing. Michael thinks, sway into the music. Michael thinks he means what? Um, that me, because I sway. Um, I sway, you sway, we all sway, I sway. <laughs> and swing, you know what it's caused by? What? It's caused by when you're a child, when, when you didn't get enough um, like physical like a sphere from your parents, you like sway around like that because you're looking for some kind of movement, some kind of like something to like stimulate you. Oh. You look for stimulation. Yeah, is that why is that why autistic kids do that too? Maybe. They, I'm they, autistic. They're like this. Yeah, I'm, I I created these. I'm I'm, I'm an artist. I I created these. <laughs> Uh, well, I had noticed that I was swaying in some of the episodes that I recently did in the clubs uh, with Drusilla, and uh, I hadn't even noticed that I was swaying, but then when I watched the episode and I saw myself swaying, I just burst into laughter because I can't explain why I'm doing it. I did. I watched those episodes. I didn't. I haven't seen you. I am swaying in some I of believe them. You. Yeah, I'm swaying. And uh, I don't know, it's just because I'm excited to be in the club, and I'm all dressed up, and I'm with all these other people that are dressed Could up. Could you have been, you know, go to music or something, like dancing? Like I don't that? know, We're, we tried like to be in a quiet place. I mean, I, you could kind of hear the music in the background. Uh, I don't think I was that coked up. I mean, maybe I hadn't done like a little bump before filming, but I try not to do that before uh, the cameras roll. So I love, I love, I don't think I was coked up. I mean, I did some cocaine before, but I don't know. <laughs> well, who's counting? <laughs> and uh, and I wasn't nervous because we do this all the time. So cocaine? No, I wasn't nervous about filming in a club because we record all the time. So I don't, I'm not sure why I was swaying. I think I might have just been. Was excited. it more than one episode? It's like maybe two episodes that I'm doing it, or possibly three. But I've. Uh, Checked myself now, so we just did some episodes this Sway week. Sway-free episodes. <laughs> yes, on uh, Saturday, Drusilla and I went to uh, Suzanne Barsh's Look Ball, and we recorded episodes there, and I don't believe I was swaying, but you'll have to decide for yourselves when that episode airs. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.